I have a lot of profitable students that are quiet about what they're doing. Not many of them are like the lady student I refer to. She's 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 cut from a different cloth. And frankly, she's you know, it's just a really amazing person, not just in her trading, but just a really nice individual. You would you wouldn't find anything negative to say about this woman. She's very humble. She's very soft spoken. But if you saw, <laughs> if you saw what you could do, oh man, like sometimes she's traded better than me. And I don't have any shame in saying that. Like her entry sometimes was better than mine. Her exits were better than mine. And sometimes she traded in a market that I wasn't interested in. And I'm flattered that she calls me her mentor. I'm, I'm, Blessed and honored that that the woman is so aware that what she's learned from came from me, but she doesn't elevate me. And that's exactly what I want from all my students. And I love championing her. I wish she'd give me permission. I wish she would give me permission because I'm telling you right now, I would have her plastered everywhere. And that's what I want my students to be like. I want my students like that. But she knows that's exactly what I intend to do. So she, she's telling me no. Because she doesn't want that type of energy around her. But the man in me, the teacher, the guy, the testosterone junkie, okay, I want that. I want to be able to shove that right in the faces of everybody that says you can't learn anything profitable. And from the men that think they're going to be the ones that rule everything, my best student is a woman. Yeah. A lady. And man, I'm telling you what, she's done phenomenally well. She's done very well with articulating what it is that works for her. Not everything resonated with her, but she's found her own way of doing it. And it, it's amazing to see it. The transformation was amazing. And there was nothing special about this person when she first came to me. Nothing that stood out as this was going to be the one that really stands out. Nothing. Because it was a soft-spoken person. Just said lots of questions. What do, I, what do I do in this situation? How do I avoid this? I'm afraid of this. How do I conquer that fear? And it's everything I taught on this YouTube channel. Think about that. All the things that was required for her to find her niche in this were things that I taught for free on this YouTube channel before 2022 mentorship. Think about that. My best, my best came from what's freely available to you. And I see all these people out there and they're making little videos saying, oh yeah, this is my opinion of ICT. Don't tell me an opinion until you show me that you traded with it. Because if you're not trading with it, then you didn't do enough work to trust it. Ooh, how's that for logic? See, you like to sit on here and critique other YouTubers and you've never really done anything. When they place themselves out there and say, hey, look, this is how I do something. And you're welcome to try to test drive it and see if it works for you. That's all I do. And for those individuals that go out and they watch a video or two, oh, yeah, I really didn't do this 2022 mentorship, but this is how I do things differently. I look at it this way. And this is my spin on ICT. Don't even bring my name up. Don't even do that. That's clickbait. Okay. Usually what's going to happen is, is my students are going to come in and rip your comment section apart. Okay. And which means that it sounds like we're a cult and it's not. It's just these are young men and women that are very, very passionate about who they're learning from because they know I'm passionate about them. But I'm also encouraging you not to do those types of things because not, not only does it look ugly, it looks like I champion that stuff. I don't. I don't I don't want any of my students to act like that. So it's lessons like this I want to hopefully ground you, give you the right perspective, explain why certain things are beneficial for you and how certain conditions and environments are going to be harmful to you psychologically, emotionally, and Traditionally, it's the men, the young guys in here that get themselves in trouble because they are thinking with an adversarial, like a, a 
a gladiator, a, a person that wants to go out there and you know rattle sabers with the next guy out there. And sometimes it's because they feel like they got to defend me, or sometimes they just feel like they want to be a superhero and they want to go out there and challenge the entire world. You are inviting all the wrong kind of energy 